When I was a small boy, my father encouraged us just by using words. We went to school. And you know, a lot of times it's hard for children to get. They wake up, they, we want to sleep. But my dad used to often tell us a word. Need Bawad, get up. It wasn't in a mean way, but it was a sound that made you feel good. It'd say, Iyakakimat. Try hard. Binamatsko said, don't give up. He is a three-year-old boy who was born to a mother suffering from a drug addiction. A three-year-old who has anger issues because he watches his parents come down off of meth and fight each other. Back in the old days, my grandmother told me that Native American women were put on a pedestal. They were a sacred treasure to them. But today, you see men hurting their women and children. And the women today, you see them with nothing but grief and sorrow upon their faces. It hurts so much when other people get to talk about their grandparents because I didn't get to see them. At one point in my life, I was contemplating suicide because death felt like an easy fix. I believe that the pain of death would have been easier than dealing with the hardships and pains of life. Look around and see all the different faces unique in our own way from our different places. Though we walk with different paces, these are positive steps. Native Aspirations works with our communities to help us understand that connecting with our elders, our traditions, and our stories, reclaiming our heritage, are powerful in preventing violence, bullying, and suicide. Native Aspirations has given me the tools to take my experiences and my healing processes and share it with many people in my community. I've met a lot of people through the Native Aspirations program that, you know, keep me motivated. The ideal Native American community, I think to me, is um, people that are very into their culture, uh, whether it's through dancing, um, singing, practicing their, their ceremonies and keeping that alive and seeing happy faces. When I speak, I feel complete. When I dance, I feel like the weight of the world and its stresses is gone. I dive so deep into dancing, I forget I'm not the only one out there. The language of my people is very, very hard to learn. So we're trying to incorporate it into the school systems. The value the language the most, which is why we, we are teaching the little ones um, to speak their language and so that it isn't lost. Be a leader and step up for your tribe. Make your tribe a stronger, and better tribe. We need to start teaching the young ones how to eat, how to be, and what to do and what not to do. If we can do that, we'll have a healthy tribe in the future. There's elders out there. You might not think they're watching you, but they are, they're watching you, and they see problems, and they'll approach you, they'll pray for you. We need to keep faith that the Creator will not let us down. I definitely do see hope in my community. Um, it starts with youth, and um, a lot of the education that we teach the kids are geared towards suicide prevention, bullying, and substance abuse prevention. The Native Aspirations could bring hope and betterment in our community. It made you think that anything is possible as long as you try and you have faith. Always persist and never lose faith. I hope our children can grow up in a home free of substance abuse. I want our youth to help preserve our culture. You are not alone. There's always someone there for you. My hope is for Native women to be treated as sacred again. Always remember who you are and where you come from. There's a lot more to the word unity. A big one is respect. So instead of just me, let's make it you and me. And together we will stand in unity. 
We are people of hope. Hey, man.